Hey guys, Andre, Horizon City News. I just wanted to share a video with you tonight regarding a uh, incident that happened in Los Angeles with uh, SGV News and a small channel called South Central Audit. Um, basically, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is doing something which I find really outrageous. Um, they're doing what many law enforcement agencies around the country are doing, where they're arbitrarily pushing back people trying to record from, from a location they're legally allowed to be. But now they're openly uh, demanding press passes or some sort of pass, which only they apparently issue or... I don't know if they issue it or if some other agency issues it, but obviously it's a pass that is issued by the government, apparently, that you have to have to continue to record from certain locations, which in my opinion is basically stomping all over the First Amendment, the, the right to free press, which is supposed to be guaranteed by the 14th Amendment of the Constitution. Um, the federal constitution. And so basically, you know, instead of a free press, they're openly admitting that it's a regulated press. That the government is regulating who can film from certain locations and who can't. And they were openly telling SGV News and South Central Audit and I think some other guy was there. They're op the Los Angeles County, California Sheriff's Department was openly saying that if you don't have one of these passes that you have to move back to where they say you have to move and that if you don't, you'll be arrested. So that's, that's openly saying that the First Amendment of the Constitution, that freedom of the press, does not exist in Los Angeles, California. That the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is going to determine who's allowed to record from certain locations and who can't based on arbitrary passes that either they issue or some other government agency issues. Um, <clears throat> it's really ridiculous. And um, even for all the people that hate people like me and all the people around the country who re record the police, if you're holding your hand to your heart and pledging allegiance to the flag, you know, during certain occasions and saying that you're an American citizen, then you should support and defend freedom of the press. That's just my opinion. You can believe what you want. Uh, the next two short videos that you're going to watch are going to be the Los Angeles County, California Sheriff's Department and the El Paso, Texas Police Department, both engaging in the same behavior except that the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, as of this recent video, is now openly demanding press passes from people who are not part of the traditional mainstream media, which in my opinion is outright, you know, stomping all over the First Amendment of the Constitution, freedom of the press. So everybody watching this video, you can decide for yourself, but that's my opinion. And uh, let's take a look at this video, which came out within the last 24 hours from South Central Audit. Um, he has just over a thousand subscribers, and I'm sure he'll be getting many more in the future. Um, I'm one of his newest subscribers, and uh, the video that I just saw, it just made me... I mean, I've seen a lot over these years since I started filming the police and watching all these YouTube videos, since I started watching them around, you know... 2014, 2015, 2016, but some of them still really make my jaw drop, like this one I just saw, where the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is openly demanding arbitrary press passes, even though someone is standing in a place that they're legally allowed to be, and they're not physically interfering with the police in any way. But you'll see it for yourself. That's what happens. That's what they're demanding. It's right there on video. And, um, yeah, I mean, the scene gets pretty tense. You'll see. The Los Angeles County, California Sheriff's Department uh, has a lot of um, 
a lot of skeletons in their closet and a bad reputation amongst a lot of the people, uh, both inside Los Angeles and outside of the city of Los Angeles. Um, so you'd think that they'd be trying to work on their image, but apparently not this part of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. They're, they, they, at least the guys that are on this scene, they have no idea what the First Amendment and freedom of the press means. And they need to, uh, I don't even know if you can retrain certain people because if they were trained in what the First Amendment is supposed to mean, it obviously went in one ear and out the other. They have no idea what they're doing. Um, anyway, here's the video. And tell me what you think in the comment section below. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to uh, South Central Audit. Uh, it's either Audit or Audits. It's South Central Audit, I believe. Anyway, link will be in the description below. And uh, as usual, of course, SGV News with his huge channel. I'm sure most of you guys are subscribed to him anyway. But if you're not, make sure you subscribe to him as well. All right, guys. Have a good night. And um, if you have any concerns or opinions about the Los Angeles County, California Sheriff's Department, uh, you can give them a call. I'll, as time permits, at some point I'll try to put the contact information for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department in the comments section below, but I got to go on Google and find out exactly what number to put in there. Um, I don't know it off the top of my head, so, but I'll put it in there eventually. Anyway, uh, take a look at this video. It's a little merger of what life is like for those guys in California trying to film the police. And then people like me and rights and lefts over here in El Paso trying to film the uh, El Paso, Texas law enforcement community. Um, pretty much the same story, but this whole thing about needing a press pass to stand on a public sidewalk where you're legally allowed to be. I mean, I've just never seen anything like that really take, you know, come out of somebody's mouth, you know, a law enforcement officer's mouth. But it happened on this video. So it's pretty sad, but it happened. Take a look, guys. And one more that I want to pull up here that I've cited often from Patrick Henry. And I think this is just a great one to finish up on. He said, show me this is in the Virginia ratifying convention again, summer of 1788. He said, show me that age and country where the rights and liberties of the people were placed on the sole chance of their rulers being good men without a consequent loss of liberty. Patrick Henry James Madison and so many others knew that if you trusted people with power, that power would always grow and on the ruins of it would be our liberty. You know? That's just what it is. situation man you could de-escalate the situation man you could de-escalate the situation man you could put some tape man you could delay you could de-escalate the situation you could de-escalate the situation you could de-escalate the, de the, de the, de the situation boss you know that you you boy you even seen on my school you could de-escalate the situation What's your name and badge number, sir? What's your name and badge number? Garcia. We're respectful. Garcia. 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 Name number? Garcia. Number? Oh, number? Hey, number? Your what's your number? Where's your body camera? Where's your body camera? Freedom of the press. Okay. 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 Cool. What's your back. name and badge number, sir? Name and badge number, though. Hey. I'm already behind the tape, motherfucker. Look at the department like shit, bro. Look at it. Wow, Crazy. Name and badge number, man. That's what you tell the judge? Garcia, what you tell the judge? 
That what you tell the judge? You dumb. Sergeant, you gonna let him do that? You gonna let him do that, Sergeant? Hey, Sergeant, come here with Sergeant. Come on, Sergeant. Open the jail, bitch. This is freedom of the press. Learn come on, the Sergeant. Learn the fucking Constitution. Garcia, you're Come on, boss. You can you put the tape off, though, man. You can't put his hands on him. You can't put your hands on somebody like that. Can we get his employee number? That's how they don't get no respect. That's how you don't get no respect. Nothing. Or stuff like that. You could just put the tape up, bro. Put the tape up. Ain't no time to put hands on somebody. You can't put your hands on somebody, man. You can't put your hands on somebody. You can't put your hands on somebody. You don't tell that to the judge. Look at it. You say that to the judge? Look at the number? No. You don't tell him look at the you don't tell him look at the number. Officer Garcia, name and badge number, there you go. That's your policy. What's wrong with you? Putting your hands on people. Come on, Sergeant. Come on, Sergeant. Smart guy, man. Smart, man. That's a smart guy right there. Respect that guy right there. We definitely the owner's employee number now, Sergeant. There you go. That's out of line, man. Man, you smart. That's out of line. I respect you, bro. That's out of line. Garcia, you're out of line, Garcia. You're out of line, Garcia. You're out of line, Garcia. Control your temper, Garcia. We trust you, Garcia, to do a job, and you can't handle it. Control yourself, Garcia. Show the public respect. Sergeant, I still need a control number, Sergeant. Thank you. That's right, though. That's right. What's wrong with him? That's right. That's right. Back here, back to the back to the mailbox, sir. If you don't move back there, you're gonna be interfering. Over here, sir, to the mailbox, please. I'm not gonna ask again. To the mailbox, please, sir. You need to move back there. Hey, is this the same guy? I did, did yeah. Public homes, right? He's always recording. Yeah. You need to back up, man. It's cool if you're here, man. But you need to back up. Yeah. This is a crime scene. Crime scene's over there. Crime scene's where we decided it is, sir. And this is part of the crime scene. You need to back up, or else you're gonna be arrested for interference. If you do, you can hang out here, just right by the fence, and you can have a that's seat. It, man. You can report. Just need to back that's up. We're not gonna stop you from so recording. Can do if you could just sit over there, please. That's it. Thanks, Thank man. You. Appreciate. You. Little, right by the fence. That's all it is. We're, we're probably gonna block all this off over here. Yeah. Sir, keep walking, please. Over there. I'm standing where I'm legally allowed to be. Over there. You know, but we see so we have this. Oh, this you're, good. Good. you're good right here. He's good. Don't be walking up on me, big man. You live over here, sir?
Over there. I'll be trying to turn nothing into something. No, you're interfering. I'm not interfering. I don't know it's time to be dealing with you where we're dealing with something else. Then don't deal with me. I have to. I don't know who you are. You know exactly who I am. I have no I have no idea who you are. My name's Andre. Andre. Nice to meet you, Andre. Alright. You're a big guy, move to the left. I don't need to move. You're in my way. <laughs> 